Hi guys, so this is my Jade 6, as you can see from the tag, or Crisula Ovada. And this was um, one of the one of the plants that was in my Jade 1, which I did split them up. And she is now in her own 6-inch um, pot. And this is a Schultz Cactus Soil, I believe, that I did use. Um, eat what um because this is a succulent what the this plant really needs is a fast draining soil and that does help um i hope you enjoy the rest of my vlog that you're gonna hit the like subscribe and of course the bell so you're notified every single time i do upload a new video everything that i do use for this particular plant will be down in the description section so if you're curious you're interested and you want to check it out it is all in there so this sits about two feet away from a west-facing window, and there are plants in front of it. Um, it. It gets good light, and currently it's being watered between 10 to 12 days. Um, what I would suggest when it comes to this plant is you want to monitor in the fact that at least one to two inches of the soil is dry like sand. And when I say that, that means when you lift your finger out no soil is still um attached to your skin when it does attach to your skin that means it's still a little bit damp or moist or wet that um you don't need to water it so i make sure that this uh when this is watered nothing goes through in the saucer because not only is she only one plant here and this is a six six inch pot there's a huge chance of overwatering if it goes through too much. Because if you remember, this is a succulent plant. They don't they can survive truly um not being overwatered. They're, they just don't need that. Um this is also a lucky plant, a money plant, a good luck plant. Um the reason this is a popular plant for anybody who follows feng shui or feng shui is because this is such an easy plant to propagate. Um, I have tried propagating it by just a leaf or leaves. It doesn't work for me. Um, a lot of people are really, really great at it. I'm just not really great at it. When it comes to propagating it with like, it has the bark itself, not just a leaf, but a stem with it, I can do that. And this is definitely my number one favorite um, succulent plant because I can make it survive for sure. Like this is a hardy plant for me. There have been I've been through what over 20 30 succulents and I've tried it before because I got confident due to growing jade and those just didn't work out as well. Another tip you could do if you don't want to put your finger through the soil, which I I really would suggest you would do that before watering if you're new to jades, um is you could see it with the leaves. So this is still kind of thick. If it if there's, I would say like 25 to 30 percent of the leaves are super skinny, then it and then you check the soil and the soil is dry, then it would need some watering. Um, but usually the top leaves usually can be um, really skinny because they're the baby leaves. So what I would suggest is do like the middle. The middle leaves, so like around here, because this is kind of an older leaf, and this was damaged. That was my, that was me. I did that. Um, I got really, uh, really paranoid and scared, and this was like a year ago, I think. Paranoid and scared when there were like um, bugs on it, like spider, and then I, um, this was before I learned that when you spray something, even misting, um, but I sprayed something on it. I forgot what I sprayed on it. It could have been neem or whatever. And, um, I did it in the morning or like mid afternoon and this sits in a west facing window. So when the light hit it, it burned. So now when I do spray my plants, um, when it comes to getting rid of pests, if I do have them, I always do it right before bed. I'm always super tired, but I do it right before bed when even artificial light is off because sometimes artificial light can actually also burn the leaves of your plants if you just sprayed it with anything. So that's another tip there. Um, again, the soil that I use is fast draining. So I would, what I prefer, the brand I prefer the most is Schultz, but you could use, um, I did do a video, black gold and anything 
Again, I will link everything down below. Um, black gold is really great. I don't really recommend Miracle Grow or Scott's Miracle Grow. If that's the only thing you can access physically, I would suggest purchase it online or look for smaller nurseries. They do have um, other brands there. And the reason that I stress that out and I always say that is because I don't want anybody else out there to have the same problem like I did. Um, not only is Scott's Miracle Grow and Miracle Grow itself that their cactus soil retains a lot of water. A lot of water. It is fast draining, but it, it retains a ton of water um, that even certain plants can't, that, that they would just slowly die due to overwatering because they retain so much water. But secondly, um, because they retain so much water, I think um, they also hold on a lot of fungus net eggs or larvae. And so that's where initially where mine started was miracle Grow soil, cactus, regular, and was the other one I used? I think those were the two. So I really don't want anybody else to have to go through that because if you haven't yet, I did um, share my step-by-step, -step, very detailed step-by-step -step on how I got rid of fungus gnats. And it wasn't easy and it wasn't overnight. It wasn't from like an hour. It really was extensive. And um, yeah, I don't recommend it even to like the worst person in the world because it's it's frustrating it's annoying it's irritating it's humiliating um it's a nightmare so i would suggest find a different soil um again i'll try to link down below my recommendation and of course everything down below will be where uh, you know the type of water mix that i do use um if you are curious in doing that if there's anything else that i haven't mentioned in regards to this let me know down in the comment section i love hearing from you guys all the time um, thank you so much guys and I'll see you guys again next time. Bye.